The Washington Post reports that under Secretary Patrick Kennedy, Assistant Secretary of State for Administration Joyce Ann Barr, Assistant Secretary of State for Consular Affairs Michelle Bond and Ambassador Gentry O. Smith, Director of the Office of Foreign Missions all abruptly quit on Wednesday. They're all career diplomats who have worked under the administrations of both political parties. Assistant Secretary of State for Diplomatic Security Gregory Starr and the Director of the Bureau of Overseas Building Operations Lydia Muniz both resigned on January 20. Combined, the departure of the six top diplomats means that the Trump State Department is entirely devoid of veteran experience, a crippling loss that cannot be understated. It's the single biggest simultaneous departure of institutional memory that anyone can remember, and that's incredibly difficult to replicate. Department expertise in security, management, administrative and consular positions in particular are very difficult to replicate and particularly difficult to find in the private sector said David Wade, who served as State Department Chief of Staff under Secretary of State John Kerry. Things just got a lot harder for Donald Trump and his Secretary of Fossil Fuel Lobbying State, Rex Tillerson. The experience and knowledge needed to manage and defend thousands of diplomats and their posts across the world while treading the difficult waters of international diplomacy in a world suspicious of American intentions is not found or replaced easily. Trump is steadily driving away anybody of any talent, experience, or conviction away from his rat's nest of an administration and that bodes very poorly for our diplomatic corps and for our foreign policy as a whole. His first week isn't over and already Trump is putting American lives at risk while he drags our international reputation through his swamp. Please comment below and share this news. And feel free to sign up now for the News Exposed newsletter to get breaking exposed news, and more, delivered straight to your inbox. It's News Exposed signing off.